So do I need to learn editing to edit my own movie or how about just a regular acting reel? Should I really learn how to edit? Coming up next, some helpful tips that I think you're going to want to know about if you should learn how to edit or just hire a simple editor. Coming up. So the answer is no, you shouldn't learn how to edit because unless you're really looking to be a professional editor, it's just really foolish to want to learn something else just to make a simple reel or make a movie. I see a lot of filmmakers making this mistake especially where they think that they'll save money by learning the editing process, but in all actuality, you actually micromanage yourself and you take away from the big picture. So if you're a filmmaker and your vision is to create a film and you're an artist and you're going to put this film together, you're going to put people in this place, you're going to put the actors, you got the storyline thing going down, and now all of a sudden you want to take on the, uh, the editing role because you think it's going to save you a couple of bucks. So you're thinking, well, how hard can this editing thing be right I'll just uh, learn a couple of programs type it on YouTube and teach myself how to become an editor right totally wrong it doesn't work like that unless you got a love for being an editor editing is not an easy thing okay now great you know they got this iMovie stuff on uh, you know on, on the Mac and all this easy program software that's not what we use we use Final Cut we also use Avid but we have professional people that that sort of do this stuff but I think that Wanting to edit just because it might save you some money or because you think you can do it better than somebody else who does it uh, all the time is, is a wrong way of thinking. Don't micromanage yourself. Don't lose track of the big picture. The big picture is making the movie. There's a lot that needs to get packaged with that, right? You have to write it. You have to storyboard it, you have to film it, you have to get it edited, colored, sound mastered, and then out the door for distribution. And, that, and then it just starts. Then you have to take on the marketing, right? How do you get butts in the seats and everything else? So that's a whole nother ball game and we're gonna make a video on marketing too. Um, now, let's say you're an actor and, and you want an acting reel. How hard could it be, right? Well, it could be very hard because, you know, if, if you're an actor, you don't wanna take on the role for editing, right? There, You go on Craigslist, that's gonna be the number one site that I would recommend anybody to go on and you're gonna put an ad for an editor in the talent uh, crew section. So the, on Craigslist, you have the talent section. It's actually gigs first. So it's gigs, you go down the talent and you go down the crew. You could put an ad in the talent section as well. You could put an ad in the crew section and that will get you probably 100 responses of editors that are more qualified to do this than you could ever be. And if your goal and your dream is not to become the best editor since the beginning of time, then I don't recommend you taking it on because it happens to be a very tedious process. And unless you have a bottle of aspirins on the table, it's not something that you want to pick up to do. So these editors are out there, right? And they're a dime a dozen. Some of these, these kids just get out of school and they got a gift like you wouldn't believe editing and they don't want that much money because they want to build their reel and portfolio as well. So that could be a good way to tie into making the, the film and finishing it. But I don't recommend you spend timeless hours and pasting and merging everything and learning how to do this, learning how to do that, if that's not really going to be your thing. Now, as far as an acting reel as well, there are tons, tons of people on Craigslist that are doing the acting reel for between 10 and 20 bucks. So you just send them all your footage on Dropbox. They make you an incredible acting reel and then you take that out. So let's just recap. You're making a movie, you're making a TV commercial, you're making a TV show, uh, you're making anything that requires you're gonna take this video and put it out in front of a mass group of audience. You're saying to yourself, should I learn the editing process? Well, the answer is absolutely not. Not unless that's your passion, okay? And the editing process and the VFX process are all different. Animation is very different as well. So if you don't wanna spend the time where you're asking yourself, should I go into the editing department and learn how to do that just for the sake of saving myself bucks. If you think you're gonna learn VFX and all the CGI effects and, and everything else, you're completely out of your mind because that is a whole nother caliber up there, okay? So I want you to make the best use of your time and the best use of your time sometimes is to be the maestro, to sit back and put proper people in its place that's how you get stuff done. That's how you make the best and most convenient way of your time 
and don't screw it up because you only get one shot. Go out, make the movie, make your TV show, make your commercial, make your acting real, right? But don't do it yourself. Do what you do best and leave the editing to the editors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment because we're giving away free advice that helps filmmakers across the world hopefully make better pictures. Until next time, lights, camera, action.